Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and we have received some intel this evening about a movement of the Chinese Navy, <clears throat> something that uh, was received earlier this afternoon around 3, I don't know, about 3.50 p.m., 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Time, and I have been on multiple multiple uh, calls with different uh, friends from around the world trying to get an idea of what is going on. Uh, what is this Chinese Navy movement? Where is it happening at? And of course, it is, it is a very complex issue uh, that we're dealing with. Uh, I got some extra information in regards to this as well, but still I am not sure as of today, uh, or I should say as of November the 6th, what that movement actually is. I know that a good friend out of Israel had sent me information, including like this article here where Japan could face the brunt of the Chinese Navy as Beijing drafts another powerful law over contested waters. And in the article here, it goes into uh, this year alone, the Chinese have been in Japanese water, waters 285 times. Uh, I was also uh, told about how that the Philippines leader, Deuterat, is claiming he's going to drill oil in the South China Sea in violation of what China considers their sovereign waters something that could bring about war in that region of the world. Uh, we have Rick Wiles with True News, who had also spoke about uh, the issues uh, being on the brink of war with China right now. And so there's a lot of, been, a lot of talk been about, out there about the, the issue with China. And then I get information in today, very credible information about the Chinese Navy is moving their ships around, something that could not be discussed in detail. Uh, in reaching out to another friend, uh, they also were in communication with military personnel that, are, that is claiming that the U.S. military has moved troops to our southern border as well as our northern border uh, here in the United States along with Canada and with, uh, and with Mexico, and that we were told that the Chinese have been working with the drug cartels out of Mexico, and they're concerned about a possible invasion of the United States. Now, I don't think, from what I've seen thus far, that the Chinese naval movement is directed at the mainland U.S., from what it appears, it may be more so South China Sea, something like that. But we're already in a quagmire over this election. And no doubt the election is something that is uh, could end up turning into a major chaos, as it is. And then to top it off with possible war, things like that at this time, it's just not good. We're trying to get more information, though, before I really go into this. I was on earlier tonight with uh, Brock Knight, uh, Dr. June Knight's son, speaking about the Sabbath. And so I haven't had a chance really to sit down and go deeply into this and to go back and corroborate some of this information. Uh, I have had other intel sources claiming that they are aware that there is a movement of the Chinese Navy, that it is a threat to our own national security, but still waiting to get some confirmation as they're doing a little di deeper digging as well. So in the morning, hopefully I can get some more information for you guys and share that with you. As of right now, unfortunately, I don't want to say too much about this because I want to have very good information before I do. This here uh, is uh, satellite photos also that have, that appeared uh, just a couple of days ago. No, it was the day before yesterday. Again, it was showing the Chinese Navy's amphibious assault ships 
the type 075 in the South China Sea. It seems it is going to leave for a return is what it says on there. But still, we, we, we just don't know what's going on as of yet. But there are a lot of tensions and a lot of the Intel people that, I, that have responded back to me are saying they're going to dig a little deeper as well. But they have already heard that there are some major issues going on with China that could affect the United States. I'm Stephen Benoon. We'll update you tomorrow. Thank